Dear parents and godparents, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you. For today, the member, I mean, today, the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased. And we offer you our support in training your child in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and her family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. And so, what name do you give your child? Nevaeh. Maria, Marie? Marie. Marie Amandolia. This one right here, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, the answer to the next question could be answered in many ways, but we're going to use the word baptism. What do you ask of God's church for Nevaeh? Baptism. In asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising her in the practice of the faith so that keeping God's commandments <clears throat> as he taught us she may love the Lord and her neighbor as herself do you understand this responsibility are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty? Yeah. Nevea. <laughs> the church of God receives you with great joy. In the name of the church, in her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then, after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. I sign you with the cross of Christ our Savior. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depends on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Oh, Nevea, you are about to get baptized. And that's the first time you heard the, the Gospel preached by a priest of the church in a liturgy, in a sacred liturgy of the church. But you can't understand it yet because you're not baptized yet and you're too little. 
But we're recording this, so you can listen to it some days, maybe, God willing, when, you're, when you can hear and everything else. On the veil, when you're baptized, you're going to become a new creation. Your mother was baptized less than a year ago. Oh, just over a year ago now. And her first baptism she ever witnessed was her own. Now, she heeded the words of her, of her baptism to, to live by loving God and loving her neighbor. And she's loved us all by giving us you. And so you are a fruit of love. And now you are going to be able to, like your mom and your dad and all the faithful live that great uh, battle, that adventure of love, and at last come to the uh, end of your pilgrimage here on earth and have your birth into heaven. Now, right after you're baptized, you're going to be free from all stain of sin of any kind, any sin you inherited from the, the fact that we, there's just sin in the human family in general, and all personal sin, probably can't have any personal sin, but who knows, you could have been cranky when you shouldn't have. <laughs> but that will be forgiven too. Um, and after that, we believe in the possibility of holiness that maybe you will never sin. But like many, should you sin after you are baptized, we come again to confession to renew our baptism and our, and our life and start over and continuing, we continue to love. And when we receive the forgiveness of God again and again, it helps us to give that forgiveness to each other. Stay close to the church and heed the two simple commandments. It's not hard, right? Love God and love your neighbor. And we have to do these things from the heart, but the external expression of these things that God has given us to do, they must be done with our full heart and our mind, but going to church on Sunday is the primary way that we together, as a people God calls his own, love God. You don't have to go right now because of COVID, but when that's done, we all have to go to church every Sunday. And then we have to love our neighbor. And when we love God well, stay close to him, receiving his love, we'll be able to love each other with a love that never ends. Mostly uh, by sharing that forgiveness that you're going to receive today from God with each other. You know, you don't deserve baptism. You didn't do anything to earn it, just so you didn't deserve your life. It's all a gift from God. God is love. He loves us not because we are good, but because he is good. And therefore, he loves you infinitely, Nevea. And we remember now, he loves us all infinitely. And we can even love each other infinitely with reckless abandon, never giving up, fighting the good fight, always hope for eternal life. My brothers and sisters, let us stand. We'll all reply after each prayer. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism for her parents, godparents, and all the baptized. Give this child new birth and baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join her to your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make her a faithful disciple and witness to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Lead her through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. 
Make her parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to this child. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep her family always in your love. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of baptism in each one of us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and to bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make her the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in her. Through Christ our Lord, amen. of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation. In the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever, amen. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And we all say amen. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. And we can all come around over here. Everyone can come on up, godparents and parents, right around here, and everyone else can come up too. Don't be shy. infinite power, accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, that the very sustenance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and the beginning of virtue. 
O oh God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shot through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O oh God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side, as along with his blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this fault, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into his death might rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And so together we can all reply, I do. Do you renounce sin? So as to, I'm sorry, very good. <laughs> good eagerness. I do, I do, I do, I do. That would be good. We could all just keep saying, I do. <laughs> do you renounce <clears throat> sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So what is your will that we should baptize Nevaeh in the faith of the church we've all just professed? I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and anoint and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, unto eternal life. I anoint you priest, prophet, and king.
We all say amen. amen. <laughs> Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf hear and the mute speak, grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips. To the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. Ephrathah, may the Lord open your ears to hear his word and your mouth to proclaim his praise. Dear brothers and sisters, this child, reborn through baptism, is now called a child of God. For indeed, she is. Through confirmation, she will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit and approaching the altar of the Lord, she will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in her name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers. As the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children, may he graciously bless the mother of this child, so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with her in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, amen. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and on earth. Bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their child. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, amen. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people. And may he bestow his peace on all who are gathered here. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And this is all present to glow in the dark for us free for her. Let us pray again. Um, <laughs> and see in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. May you preserve that dignity unstained until everlasting life. Amen. Good Godmother. Thank you, Godmother. <laughs> Good. <laughs>